Well, this week, a local artist frustrated with the state for slashing arts funding is taking matters and a steering wheel into her own hands. ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly is in South St. Pete, where kids are painting something that normally would get them in big trouble. Denia is a third grader at Fairmount Park Elementary, a struggling school in South St. Pete. Denia was in the cafeteria when she saw a colorful sight rumble into the parking lot. And I was like, they're going to art bus, they're going to art bus in there. I was happy. The Nomad Art Bus. It's a nonprofit created by and driven by local artist Carrie Boucher. This year, the state of Florida cut funding for public arts organizations by nearly 90%. Okay. Carrie believes if large groups of young before, people can't get access to art. If I'm driving the bus and I have to be able to see where I'm going, where can you not paint? On the windows, yep. She'll bring art and self-expression to them. What they love is the experience of doing whatever creative expression that we engage in is, is how we relate to each other. Carrie also brings her mobile arts program to group children's homes and most recently, juvenile detention centers. This group, you have about three minutes left. At Fairmount Park Elementary, which is considered a transformation zone school, that is one that was recently failing, Denia puts the finishing touches on her cat emoji. Her reason for doing this? To show love to the press. In St. Petersburg, Sean Daly, ABC Action News.